Maggie from My Favorite Things. I recently went on a Russia River cruise with my husband for our 30th wedding anniversary. So on our way there, um, and we and, and I put the inst I put the pictures and, and video clips on my Instagram with descriptions of things that we did and things that we saw on an almost daily basis on my Instagram, and then. Um, I also uploaded a video montage of our trip um, up to Moscow. I didn't include Moscow on and uploaded that on my YouTube video. So if you'd like to check them out, I will link them below. But um, by the way, there's a clip of my husband and me dancing a Viennese waltz. And I've gotten a lot of compliments. Oh, from my friends and my viewers who've seen that little clip and saying, oh gosh, you guys are such good dancers or whatever. We're not good dancers. I put a little clip of that video where we look good. Prior to that little clip, we were arguing about who was going to lead. And usually, my husband sometimes doesn't have really good timing. I was like, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I was telling him to like go faster and we were like, it was like we were fighting with each other during the dance. So the video clip that you see where we look kind of like we're in sync, it's after a little bit of arguing. And this is a quote haul, and I can't believe I'm saying a haul about such expensive items, but there's a story to go with it. And, and without further ado, I'm just gonna show you exactly what I got. And I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for it so that you'll know, because I'd like to, do videos where it's gonna be helpful, not just like, oh, look what I got, you know. But again, there's a story, no judgment, please. Um, so this is what we got. Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. I got the Chanel um, Coco mini handle. Another Chanel Coco mini handle. And, and this is called, oh, isn't this cute? This is called, I don't know the, like, the layman's term for it, but the Chanel people called it flap with handle. <laughs> Small flap with handle and calfskin. Texture, is it grain calfskin. So here are the three Chanel um, bags that I got and one Louis Vuitton. Plus I got a lot of um, gifts and little knickknacks from Russia. But I'm gonna sh tell you, um, I'm gonna do a story time at the end. And I'm going to tell you, um, w you know, the process of me getting it and how much it costs, so that you will know, um, like the kind of money that I saved by um, buying buying it in Europe. Okay. So our flight was from U.S. to St. Petersburg, and then coming back is from Moscow to U.S. But going out, we had a stopover at Paris Airport, and coming back back home, we had a stopover in London Airport. And we had, according to my itinerary, we had a couple hours, two hours, in both of those airports. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna have time to shop. I, before leaving, I wanted to make sure that the, the gates that we were leaving from had the shops that I wanted to look at. And they did. And so when once I found out that gate K uh, in Paris Airport, was the gate that we were gonna take off to Russia. I was like, I'm gonna go take a look at the, the um, Louis Vuitton and Chanel stores. And then um, with the gate that we were leaving from in London Heathrow, it was also the um, terminal that had the Chanel store and Louis Vuitton stores. So, you know, I was good. I didn't have to go to a different terminal to go to these stores. So that's good. The second thing I did is I want, I had like a wish list of things that I was gonna be looking for. One, from Louis Vuitton, I was looking at the Zoe Wallet, um, Speedy Nano, and the Girolata, or Girolata, the, the um, bucket bag that I did a video on. My friend had it and I, I love the blue color and the pink color, and so I wanted to see if they had it. Um, so those are the things. And then from Hermes, I was thinking about, I know they don't have the Kelly or the Birkin, but I was thinking about, um, to, uh, what is it? It's called a Lindy, but the mini Lindy um, 
it looked really cute on pictures, but I wasn't sure if they had it yet. And then from Chanel, I had in my wish list, wish list um, Coco Mini Handle, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to get that. Uh, the thing about Coco Mini Handle that I wasn't sure about um, prior to going was the handles, the strap length, which I cannot wear that crossbody. And two is the the corners. I wasn't sure if the corners were so sharp that it was going to create w uh, too much wear. And and of course the size is small, so you know. And then what was the other ones that I was interested in? Mini reissue, the new one with single flap, um, the uh, camera bag, possibly. Although I wasn't, you know, probably not. Um, a business affinity, um, either in medium or small. I wanted to take a look, and I, and I knew I wasn't interested in the Gabriel bag. I was not interested in um, what are some of the other popular ones. Um, I think that was about it. Uh, what was the other one? I didn't want any of the big tote bags, anything like that. So those were the that's and I, I didn't want any SLGs. So that's kind of like my wish list I went with. I went to the Chanel store first and I saw this on the shelf and I fell in love with this color. And I don't have anything blue, so I thought, oh, this is great. They had two of these and I saw also, my sister has been wanting a Coco Mini handle, but she, you know, she wasn't sure. And, and I know she likes blue and they had two blue ones, but it seemed kind of silly to get two blue ones. So I asked the sales associate to see if, you know, if they had any other colors. And they had a pink one and the red one. So, you know, I tried to, I was thinking about texting my sister, but it was like midnight in the United States. My husband said, are you nuts? You cannot text her. <laughs> She'll wake her up. So I had to make an executive decision. Do I get two of the blue or do I get blue and a red? And, you know, decide and hopefully that she would like you know, the red one, because I was thinking that I wanted the blue. Although the red was so pretty, I couldn't make up on mine. Um, this one is turning out looking a little bit orangey, but that's because of the light that we have. In the sunlight, it looks like tomato red. So it's very pretty. Um, so my husband said, get both. Get both, and if she doesn't like it, you can keep it, or you can try to sell it, because I knew it was a better price in Europe than it, it was it was in the United States. And, and that's what I'm gonna tell you also about, is are the prices. So I decided to get both of this. And I was like, oh my God, I'm getting both. Um, and with a possibility that maybe my sister would want this. And if she doesn't want it, like I said, I could either sell it um, or keep it and you know, decide later. But I didn't want to let it go because it was such so pretty. And then my sales associate brought out one more, which is this. Isn't this gorgeous? This is called, guess what? <laughs> it's called a, a small flap with handle and um, grain calf skin. It is not caviar. It's kind of smooth, but they said it's grain calfskin, and with champagne gold hardware, it's got a strap that is adjustable and removable. It's adjustable in, it's got three little holes here. It's not, I'm at the longest hole, longest strap length, and so I can wear it cross body, although it's a little bit, um, a little bit uh, high. It's not, it's, I, it's, you know, I can wear it a little bit longer, but it's not, it's not so high. It's got a back pocket. It's got feet. It's got um, it's got compartments. It's one co big compartment, another compartment, and then a zipper pocket. Um, I don't know if it's gonna lose shape. I'm hoping not. I'm gonna see if I can find um, or have an insert made for this to keep its shape. But and the back pocket. I mean, it's gorgeous. So. So those three are what I got. Um, when I purchased this from the Chanel store and then I went to the Louis Vuitton store and I bought the Zoe wallet, which my mom has this wallet and um, because my daughter bought it for my mom when she went to Rome and it's so sweet of her. And I wanted this wallet for so long. I wanted, and so they had this. 
Um, so I, I love this little wallet and it's perfect for all my the little bags that I'm starting to collect, I have. So this one. Okay, now I want to tell you about the prices. And I declared everything when I came back into the country and I, I wish I can tell you what the customs cost was, but because I bought so many other stuff and it was too hard to calculate, you know, what customs fee is for each of these items. So I'm not gonna talk about exactly how much I paid for customs, but to say that per person and coming back in the US, um, you get exempt from custom, paying customs up to $800 per person. So there's two of us in our family, so up to $1,600 it is exempt. After that, you do have to pay customs tax. And I declared everything, including you know Russian chocolate, which is absolutely delicious, by the way. Anyway. So, um, okay, the prices. This one in Euro, it's 355 Euro, which works out to, and, and here's the other thing. I converted everything um, with an app that I had, which is called XE, I think that's what it's called. And I thought, you know, I thought I knew the exact price, but what my credit card charged me, credit card company charged me, turned out to be a little more than what I thought the conversion rate was. So I think the credit card companies must have their own conversion rates. I'm not so sure, but it was like, it was a little more than what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so this one was 355 euro, and it's, which turns out my credit card charged me $400.54, plus um, then whatever customs fee, I don't know. Um, but in the U.S., this is 585 plus tax, so 400 plus customs fee plus, or 585 plus tax, so it's it's still cheaper, right? Okay. The Coco Mini Handle. By the way, these look like same; they're exactly the same, but they're not. This one has lizard skin. But it's not lizard skin, really. It's embossed calf skin. I'm, I I don't want to buy. Um, exotic skins. So this is embossed lizard skin with cloth and antique, not antique, brush gold hardware. And it doesn't have stitching on the bottom, around the edges. This one has stitching. See that? It has stitching right here. The other thing is the handles of this. This one is a little bit thicker. This is a little bit thinner. This is caviar. This is embossed um, lizard skin. The back, this one has this stitching right here. It's like it's too, you know, right here. This one does not have any kind of, like, it's not, it's like all one continuous thing with a pocket. This doesn't seem to be. Okay. The size, when I measure it, it seems like it's the same, but really this one feels like it fits, it's a little more flexible, a little more open, um, not open, what's the word? It feels like it fits a little more. I don't know why I feel that way. I feel like I've got a little more give with the with the red. Oh, sorry, with the red um, cocoa handle. So um, okay, so this price this price was twenty seven forty point fifty euro twenty two thousand seven hundred forty point fifty euro, which turns out to be with my credit card charge. What they charge me is. $3,091.26, okay? And then this one is 3,175.50 euro, and, um, and which turns out to be $3,582 and a few cents. And, but in the US, this is, this is $4,100 plus tax. So in the U.S., this is 3,700 plus tax. This is 4,100 plus tax, and in Europe, I paid equivalent to basically 3,100 versus 3,700 plus tax, and um, basically 3,500, 3,600 for this one. So, um, so you know, money, you know, money saved, and and this one when I. When she brought this out, it was so pretty, and I thought, oh my gosh, it is such a functional bag. My husband loved it, I loved it, 
But then I have so many black bags. So I was like, I can't get this. I can't get this because I have too many black bags. It's, it's, you know, I just feel like it's excessive. Um, so my husband said, well then sell it. Sell one of your other bags that you don't use that much. And I said, I love all my bags. I can't sell any one of them. And he says, sell the jumbo because I hate that bag. I don't know what it is, but my husband always hated that jumbo, black jumbo double flap. Um, ever since I got it, he, he didn't like the look of it on me. He, he thought it looks, it looks too big on me. And, um, I, and I have a lot of other black bags, so I think I'm going to, at some point, I'm going to let my jumbo double flap go. And this fits about the same as my dump, jumbo double flap, maybe slightly less, but Really, it, it's, it's a really good size bag. And without looking like huge, this is, for me, this is the most functional size. Much more functional than this tiny little thing. Um, which, you know, everybody says it fits a lot, but I, you know, because I wear glasses, um, and I like to carry sunglasses or reading glasses, this is like, I have to downsize. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Okay, so that's it. That's those. That's how much, how much, how much it costs. And I hope that helps you because, um, you know, that's why I make these videos to be helpful. Oh, Blue right here. So this is. Oh my God, this is so cute. Um, this is my. And then here's my red one. Okay, and crossbody, it doesn't look good on me. Look, it, it's, it's not a crossbody. It doesn't look good. It's uncomfortable. Um, maybe if you're really tiny and skinny, 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 but I'm not, so here we are. And then handheld, of course. And um, I've, I have worn this um, during my trip because I really love that blue. And then this one, look at this. I have this in the longest setting, and I can do... I can do this. It's a little bit high, but it's okay, right? It doesn't look, you know, and, and because this folds, it's not hitting anymore. So, like that, or like that. And again, I can make this, let's see, I can make this a, about this much shorter, about, you know, the, the hole is, you know, the first hole is here, and the last hole is here. So, I can make it shorter probably like this if I wanted to, or here, crossbody, of course, handheld, Ugh. and it's got the back pocket for small things. I can put my phone in like this, you know, because it's more of a soft leather, I don't know, again, I, I don't know how well it's going to hold its shape, but believe you me, I am going to stuff it when I put it away. Um, that said, like I said, I was feeling really guilty about getting two uh, pretty much similar bags in different color. So, and, but remember I bought this thinking that my sister would want it. So I texted her um, the following day and I said, I got this, what do you think? You know, do you want it? And she said, no, that's okay. And I'm like, oh my God, now I have two mini cocoa handles. And um, it's, you know, it fits the same, pretty much the similar amount. So I was either gonna, I was thinking of trying to see if I can exchange this for the um, uh, the one in it when I was in London. Okay. So now for the story time. Okay. So we went to Paris airport and we bought all the stuff and. Um, Actually, when I bought the Louis Vuitton, they rejected my card because I had spent so much money at the Chanel store. So here's the thing. I had bought all these bags. I mean, three bags. <laughs> I mean, it's silly. Oh, I didn't want to check anything in. I wanted everything. I wanted the box. I wanted the, dust, uh, the bag that it came in. So I got everything. And then I had to figure out how to put it in. I knew I might be buying a lot, so I brought an extra duffel bag. Um, so my husband had a carry-on luggage with wheels with the backpack. I had a carry-on luggage with the wheels um, and a, a tote bag, the Longchamp large um, tote bag, and a 
duffel bag, um, le pliage, not le pliage, le sport sack, large weekender, all squished into my um, suitcase, my carry-on suitcase. We also had like electronic goods and stuff like that we were carrying. So everything had every clothing and everything. Tr uh, we stuffed it in my husband's um, carry-on luggage, and everything else went into my 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 long champ tote. And I, by the way, I also brought my Speedy Bandolier 25. Oh, so that had to be, but that could be folded. So yay. Um, So they, when we were getting on the airplane to go from Paris to St. Petersburg, they were telling a lot of people to check in their carry-on. And my husband and I were standing in line, they wanted me to check in my carry-on and that had my Chanel bag, Chanel Coco handle. And I said, I cannot check that in. Please, please don't check that in. You can check my husband's stuff in because that's just got clothes. Um, we always take emergency clothes with us um, just in case our luggage gets lost. So they checked that in. When I explained to her that all the other bags had Chanel, she understood and she let me pass through. But I may tell you, I was begging. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like so nervous. And on the way back, it was easier. Everything that's sort of non-essential, like that was going to be okay if I lost it, except for my husband's leather jacket. I mean, I told him not to put it in there, but he put it in there. He wanted me to check in my my um, Burberry trench coat and I wouldn't do it. I said, no way, I cannot lose this. This is too expensive for me to check it in and get lost. And you know what? Our luggage was lost. It was actually delayed for a couple days and, and then they couldn't find it. And so I had to go to the airport and like look for it and I found it, thank goodness. But that one had my husband's leather jacket that is, I think, in my opinion, irre ir irreplaceable because we got that in Buenos Aires and we had it custom made for him. I, I mean, and he loves that leather jacket. So I was gonna move heaven and earth to find that for him when they lost our luggage. But we found it, thank goodness. Okay, so, um, oh, then on the way back, I, during the whole trip, I kept thinking, I don't need too many Coco handles. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go to London Heathrow Airport on the way back and see if I can exchange it because I wasn't using it. I didn't even open the box. You know, it would be an exchange, right? So we flew from Moscow to London and oh my God, that airport is enormous. We landed in Terminal 4 and we had to go to Terminal 3. I was making my husband run through the airport and we had to change shuttle. You had to get on a shuttle bus. You had to change the shuttle bus. It's not easy. The terminal that we were leaving in, um, it's a terminal three and they had the Chanel store. I went in, this is getting really long, right? I went in and asked the sales associate. I didn't open it, I bought it at Paris. Can I exchange? They said, we do not exchange anything that's bought from other places, other airports. And so then I said, do you have the mini Coco, mini Coco re it, no, the, do you have the mini reissue? And she brought the one out with the Egyptian one with a black, with a gold um, Chanel written all over it. And I, that's not me, so I didn't want that. Um, they had the Gabrielle bag, which I, I never liked that bag for me. Um, so there was nothing there that I really wanted to get, plus the fact we didn't have time. Because literally we ran to the our gate and people were boarding. Um, Okay, my, somehow my, my video stops, but I think I told you everything. Um, I think that's it. So we ended up not buying anything in, in London airport. One, we didn't have time. Two, they didn't have anything I wanted. And three, they couldn't exchange this. So now I ended up with two of these and my sister saw the red in person and, and she loved it and she's gonna get this. And um, so I'm gonna keep this. My sister's gonna have that. And I am gonna keep this. Um, I love this blue. This is so beautiful. Really, my sister lives so close from me. I know we're going to swap. So really, I get to use this too. And she gets to use this, so we're going to swap. Um, 
and I may I may put my jumbo double flap up for sale because I have the medium large and I don't know. Anyway, this one. Um, if you would like a review on any of these bags or wallet, uh, please let me know. If you are still here with me throughout this whole video, thank you so much for watching. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing and clicking that bell notification so that you would be alerted whenever I upload more videos. Okay, thanks. Bye.